the meltdown that we had at the car wash. I've been posting a lot more on TikTok lately. You know how it is, because Chick-fil-A usually has two lines. So one could be zooming, and then the other one is just super stagnant. Not my headphones about to die. All I heard is boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back to another video. Today was my day to do school drop off, so I took Nadia to school. I decided to be brave and take Ian to go and get a car wash, and I wanted to run some errands. Like, I wanted to go to Target and I don't know, I think do some other stuff. I can't even remember because my mind is so distraught of the meltdown that we had at the car wash. So, after I dropped off Nadia, me and Ian went to the car wash and he seemed to be doing okay. You know, he was interested in all like the the lights and the stuff in the water. Then he got a little bit scared and then I held his hand, then he calmed down. And then I went in to the back lot where you vacuum and wipe down your car and whatever. I honestly was not able to finish vacuuming my car. That is how bad his meltdown was. He started to lose his sh like it gave me so much anxiety and like I just didn't want to finish I didn't want to finish what I was doing I was like we need to get the hell out of here we need to go home and you need to go and take a nap <laughs> honestly this is my third kid and still the meltdowns freak me out and give me anxiety like it just stresses me out so much where I'm like, I need to go in the house in a safe enclosed space so I can handle this. I, I don't I don't like to be outside when my kid is having a meltdown because I just hate that extra added attention on me. And it's just it's just too much. <laughs> like I'm sure you understand. If you have a child and you've dealt with the meltdown, I'm sure you understand exactly what I'm talking about. I came straight home, put Ian down for a nap. I think that's what it was. I think he genuinely was exhausted. So as soon as I put him down in his crib, he was out. I honestly have some time right now to like decompress and like calm down because my body is still like shaky. Like I feel like I have bees all over it after dealing with that meltdown. It was just so much. So now the baby's asleep. I have time for me. My favorite time. <laughs> My favorite time is nap time. Also, the kitchen is a mess, girl. Don't worry about it. We'll fix it later. <laughs> Someday. Not right now. I've been getting like really good with drinking water before I drink my coffee because I always notice after I drink my coffee, if I haven't had anything as far as like water or even food, my stomach will start to hurt. So water, water is important for you. I wonder why they always say that because it's true i've also been adding like this little daily immunity supplement to my waters also it's by new wonder it's really good new wonder has been my go-to supplement lately new wonder is a daily herbal supplement that helps increase immunity it has key ingredients like astragalus root and fresh ginger and jojoba fruit I absolutely love the convenience of the little to-go packets as well. could literally take them anywhere if I'm in the car or heading out. I can still get my daily dose of these herbal supplements. And I like to dissolve one packet about two to three times a day just to help prevent colds and allergies. New Wonder also fizzes up when you add water to the powder. It gives it like a nice carbonated taste to it. My husband's been really loving it in his water bottle and he takes it to work. It's super refreshing. I love to take it in the morning to wake me up. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description with a discount code so you guys can try New Wonder for yourself and see if you like it. I've been keeping up with getting ready for the day and let me tell you, I feel like so much more motivated for like life after I get ready and like take care of myself. Actually doing the makeup has been like a key part of me getting ready. It's easy for me to like, you know, brush my teeth and all of that and even do my skincare because that's just become like a very good habit that I've been doing for myself. But the makeup, that is something that I have been incorporating a lot more recently. And honestly, I feel 10 times better because trust me when I tell you that it's so easy to just sit and do nothing, it really is. So putting on this makeup, even if I'm not going anywhere, it's essential. It is essential to my overall well-being, let me tell you. Nude sticks have been like my favorite blush to use on my face. This is the color Sun Kissed Cool. 
I went to Sephora and the lady that works there, she was just like, oh my God, your blush looks so good. What did you use on your face? So you know if the professionals at Sephora are asking you for beauty tips, then girl, you know you're doing something right. Huda banana bread, also a current favorite of mine. G and I are going to New York next week for my birthday. I'm so excited. We're not gonna be able to do every single thing that there is to do in New York because we're only going for three days. That's much better. I'm telling you, it's so easy to just stay in a t-shirt and some shorts, especially if I'm gonna be home like anyways. I know I'm gonna feel better when I actually put on a decent outfit. <laughs> I'm gonna put on this Lululemon sports top. Why did I say it like that? Sports top. <laughs> Freaking sports bra is what I'm gonna put on. I need to go to the store and get trash bags because I don't have any, but I'm literally scared to go outside with Ian. Like, hopefully he'll feel better after he wakes up from his nap. But honestly, girl, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna risk it. I've been posting a lot more on TikTok lately and I kind of love it. It's obviously short form content versus YouTube, whereas it's long form content. YouTube takes a while for me to film, edit, upload, fill out the description, the tags, all of that stuff. Whereas TikTok, I could literally film in real time, edit in like 10, 15 minutes, and have it posted for you guys to watch. Um, same thing with Instagram um, and the reels, but Instagram is more of like aesthetic, you know, for me, whereas TikTok is just kind of more raw form content something that i just put up you know make sure you guys follow me there because whenever i'm not uploading here on youtube i am definitely uploading over there not my headphones about to die all i heard is boop 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 boop, boop. <laughs> all right we're gonna see how long these bad boys last because i want to listen to some jams so i can clean up some jams why do i say it like that am i a 70 year old dad right now i want to listen to some music so i can clean up and just like get in the mood and in the vibe you know so I don't know. We'll see how long these last. reason why I feel like Ian is kind of just all over the place I haven't been really sticking to a schedule for him and I think that it's throwing him off a little bit we need to get back on a routine for him hi hello yeah stinky poop I can smell it oh calm down I need to vacuum the floor it's so dirty I'm stepping all over crumbs Yeah, remember I vacuumed? <laughs> well, at least the floor isn't that bad. Me and Ian are in the line for Chick-fil-A and I'm hoping that my line goes faster than the other line. You know how it is because Chick-fil-A usually has two lines. So one could be zooming and then the other one is just super stagnant and I'm really hoping that I'm in the one that's fast. Me and Ian are eating our lunch in the car because that is the whole vibe right now. <laughs> He's in the back watching Elmo, enjoying his fries and I'm eating my salad. We're back from Target. I got all the essentials. So we're gonna put it all away now. I caved and put him down for another nap. I was only supposed to do one nap, but I couldn't, girl. He was so grouchy. Mm -hmm. 